Into the World Entertainment Living Proof Magazine. We're live at South by Southwest in Austin, Texas. I'm here with Harry Chaskin, the filmmaker behind Bygone Behemoth. It's kind of like the story of your view of what's happened, sort of those classic monster movies from like the 40s and 50s. Exactly. It's, I mean, it's, it's a stop motion animated film, so it's a hundred year old technique, and it's about a washed up B movie monster dinosaur sort of reliving his halcyon days. Uh, in a time when computer graphics and fast cutting and graphic violence have taken over. Why did you feel like you wanted to tell that story? Uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a huge fan, I'm a huge movie fan, obviously, in general. Uh, I grew up on classic horror and sci-fi movies, Ray Harryhausen, Willis O'Brien. I mean, it's really, it's a nostalgic thing for me. Um, I think there's something about stop motion that's kind of magical, seeing real tactile objects with texture, photographed under real lights, moving by themselves, and I just, I don't know, it, it, it speaks to me and I wanted to make something that was that was about that and sort of needed stop motion to exist to tell the story. As far as the imagery, when, when, what, what did you do to the photography to, to give it that old filmy look? Uh, to be honest, not a whole lot. I mean, the great thing about uh, stop motion is you're working with still pictures, so I was shooting with a, di uh, with a, a digital still camera, which in terms of definition is larger than HD. Uh, and has a great deal more latitude. I was able to push my exposures longer and just end up with a ton of information raw that I could then work with, at which point, actually, you know, the whole thing is shot in color, and then I went in and desaturated it to black and white and added a few filters here and there to make, uh, to make the highlights glow the way, fil the way film glows. It's, it's kind of ironic. It's a movie about something that's lost and forgotten, and I'm using digital technology <laughs> to to actually realize it. So was this something you were doing in your spare time? Do you have a day job as working in animation and you kind of fit this in when you could? It seemed uh, like a monster of a project. It was a big project, I actually. Oh, that was it. a terrible pun. <laughs> Can we edit out that pun? I did not mean for that. Uh, I wish we could go for it again. <laughs> uh, I actually, Bygone Behemoth was uh, my thesis film at CalArts where I went to school. So at the time I made it, I was still a student and sort of, it was a wonderful experience because I had the luxury of being able to devote my time fully to that and spend eight months locked in a closet with these little puppets. What can we look for going forward? I have a few projects in the works. Uh, I have a web series uh, in development that... Uh, Is that going to be animated as well? Uh, that's actually live action, but I'm, I'm a stop motion geek. If there are places to sort of fit in stop motion sequences or elements, it'll be in there. There you have it, Harry Chaskin. Check out Bygone Behemoth. You can see the trailer online. It will be coming to film festivals around the country very soon. Peace.